Uh, so that that would be the first question. What do you what do you think happens when people die? What do I think happens after death? Yeah. I think well, your soul either goes somewhere to heaven or one place down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I mean, you know, I so I think some people when they die, they they're kind of stuck in the middle. Yeah. They they don't know what where they're going, you know, where they're supposed to be. So kind of like the Catholic purgatory. Yeah, okay. still searching, you know, for a reason. Yeah, so they're trying to find a way to get to one place or the other. True. Okay, okay. So would you, are you, do you have a religion, or is that not, is that Well, I believe in God. Oh, okay. Very much so. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're not, not agnostic. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's that's a, that's a that's a I respect that. That's a good thing. I mean, I'm personally Christian, so so um. So we're, well, I was baptized. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Years cool. ago, my husband and I were baptized together. Oh, really? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. So I don't go to church like I should. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I being um, a Christian is more about like having a relationship with God than trying to sh- look good in front of other people because yeah. nobody can be perfect. That's like the message, you know. Um, that's just it. Nobody is. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's where this video kind of goes to. It's like where you think you'd end up. And many people answer. Um, many people think that like when you when you die, there's a scale and they weigh your good deeds and your bad deeds. Yeah. 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 But um, I guess from from a biblical standpoint, I guess I I would like the Bible states that. Um, that uh, when like Jesus came down, he paid for our sins. So although we all deserve to go to hell, we can go anyways. Like I could be, I uh, I've done bad things, you know. Um, I'm one of the worst people. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. If they hadn't, I've been like, <laughs> yeah. If they hadn't, I'd be like, how old are you? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah. So do you do you believe that like there are different options for going to heaven? Do you have to believe in? A certain religion, or do you do you believe that like you have to believe in Jesus to go to heaven, or is like I don't know about the religion part, but I do believe yeah you have to believe in God you have to yeah yeah, yeah. so you, as far as different religions I'm not really sure on that yeah okay. you know. that's, a good, that's that's a good answer that's interesting so if so do you believe that um like say somebody is like the Jews, they, they believe in the Bible, but they don't believe Jesus was God. Would you? Would that count, or would that not count in in your opinion? They don't believe Jesus was was God. Yeah. Well, Jesus wasn't God. Jesus was the Son of God. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you would believe? So, so you believe that he's more of a demigod or a human? Like, what would you? What would your opinion be? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I think he was human. Yeah, yeah. human. Yeah. yeah, it says he was one hundred percent human. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, it says he was God too. So that's why it's such a tricky question. I, it like, is tricky. Yeah, it's a tricky I mean, I, I get a little confused too. I mean, uh, Joseph was supposedly the father of Jesus, yeah. Yeah. but God is supposed to be the father. of all, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, so, if you were to, like, if you were to die, say, because nobody knows really when we die. That's true. If we were to die, like, I was to die, or you were to die tomorrow, how do you determine who gets to go to heaven, who ends up in hell ultimately, like, from your, from your perspective? Well, I, I believe you really have to be a good person. You, you know, somebody that is kind and, and good to people and that's good things and you know. Yeah. Not yeah. hate and not what's going on in this crazy world today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know. yeah. So I don't necessarily believe that you have to go to church. Yeah. Yeah, no. no, no. I neither do I. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah. Just as long as you you know, you read your Bible and you you know, talk about God. Yeah. I'm not afraid to talk about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. But um, um, 
So my next question would be, if if somebody was to die, like say I was um, a drug addict, um, say I, 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 I stole and I've been in jail for the last 10 years, I get out and then somehow I get in some in a mess and I end up dying and I've only got like an hour left to live, but I'm very sorry for the way I lived, would that be enough to you get me into heaven? to ask forgiveness? Yeah, would that be enough or would I still kind of be condemned because of all the horrible things that I've done in my life? That's a tough question, too. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I know the Lord forgives you of your sins, yeah. uh, but, you know, I don't know, depending on how much bad you've done and how much good you've done. I don't yeah, know. yeah. But, I mean, I'm not perfect. I ain't done oh, neither a lot <laughs> of good things either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, neither am I. Far, far from it. I would like to be a perfect person, but that's, yeah. not, po- that's not possible. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, not at all. That, um, so would you would you agree with like I, I believe I'm saying it right the the Bible states that like the way to be saved the only way into heaven I think uh, Jesus said I'm the only way um, into heaven no one comes to the Father except through me um, is to admit that we're not perfect which I, I know I, I, if I didn't think that I'd probably right. have something wrong with my head um, and to ask God to just Give us and to trust that he's going to save us from from what we deserve you know because right. you know um would you would you agree with that or disagree do you have and what are your reasons i guess for your, your opinion i don't know I, I mean i think about a lot of things like that i i i want to go to heaven when i pass i hope pray the good lord takes me there I believe if I have many family family members are there, I hope. Uh, you know, I ain't done a lot of right righteous things. I think it's sad to do that. But they say the Lord forgives you of your sins. I don't know if it depends on how many sins you commit or I don't know. It's it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well there's uh, another verse, um, just to put your mind at ease. Um, Peter was asking Jesus how many times he should forgive his neighbor. And Jesus responded, uh, he asked if he should give, forgive him seven times a day. And Jesus said you should forgive him seven times 70 times a day. So if you were to like put the ma- do the math, I think somebody said it was something like multiple times a minute you have to forgive your neighbor. And you're, you're not usually around your neighbor every single minute of the day. No. So if God was telling you to do that, he's probably doing the same for you. So I'm sure whatever you've done. Well, I, I always wonder. Yeah. I mean, what does it take for the good Lord to allow you to go to heaven? Yeah. How many yeah. sins you commit? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. That part scares me because yeah. I don't want to go to hell. Oh, no, no. Truthfully, sometimes I think earth is hell. I, there's another verse that I remember. It says, I think it was John 3.16. And, and I don't know if you, have you heard of that verse? You know what? I've read the Bible clear through and didn't understand a lot of it. I, I yeah. probably couldn't remember it. Yeah, it's, it is. It is very. It can be very hard to understand. It is very. <laughs> yeah, uh, I believe John three sixteen said, um, uh, "For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God." So nobody is perfect. Right. Nobody's perfect. Right. Yeah, and um, but um, so God so loved the world because He loves us. That's what He made us for. He didn't make us to be slaves. He 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 loves us. That's he didn't need us, but he wanted us to, as friends. Right. Um, so he so loved the world that he gave his only son. Um, so he goes down to earth in human form to go through everything we went through. So he understands all our hardships. Because if you're up in heaven all the time, do you understand everything sometimes? that People would wonder that. But he grew up like everybody else. Right. A carpenter. He was poor. People didn't like him all the time. He had a mom and dad, you know. And um, he died, and it said, um, so if, uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whoever believes on him will not die, will not perish in hell, but have everlasting life. Right. So um, that's, what's, um, that's what I find really beautiful about the Bible, is that it doesn't teach that you have to like earn your way. Because, you know, like a lot of people are not sure, am I going to go, where am I going to go? Right. You know? But the Bible says, 
if you believe in God, you're going to heaven. If you believe in Jesus, that he's saving you from your sins, you're going to go to heaven. And just like that, you don't have to worry. I hope you said that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. I mean, I I worry about, like, my son. He, 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 he doesn't believe in God. Yeah. And that scares me. Yeah. I mean, there's a higher power. There's no doubt about it. There's a higher power. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. Keep hoping that you know things will change his mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, if I, the Bible also says like a power, the um, the prayer of a righteous man um, availeth much, or like works. Like it, it, the prayer of a righteous man is like very powerful, so it can change a lot. We have a lot of power in our in our words and what we ask God for. It doesn't mean just men. I mean, women and men, everybody. Right. So right. if you so if you are praying to God and you're asking God and you're saved and you and you know that He will answer you, you know, praying to God for your son might actually it might help. I don't know. You know, like. Well, that's one thing I wonder about. I mean, how do you go about praying? I mean, what is the right way to pray to God? Yeah. You know, I talk out loud. To to God, yeah. just out loud, please, Lord, you know, yeah, help yeah. me through this or that. Yeah, yeah. I don't always get down on my knees and this and that. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I talk yeah. not loud. Yeah, that, that's how I think people should pray. You know, like there are times when you need to get on your knees and just yeah surrender. But but there are times when you need to when, when he's your friend. You know, like you're you're not you're not just saying like Father God, Father God, Lord. Jesus Christ, Father God, uh, could you, Father God, and like, if you're always saying that, you know, it's it's just religion, it's not like real relationship with him, that, right. that's, so like, praying the way you're praying is, that's that's the right way, way to pray, well, you know? I, you know, I pray to the God, and I say, the Son of God, or Holy Spirit, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's good, as long as like, as long as you're actually seeking out God, he, he loves us, he's very forgiving, and Merciful, so you don't have to like address him like Mr. President, you know. No. Yeah, be respectful, but not like super. Like it doesn't have to be boring, you know. He he wants to be your father. He's your father, so right. And so yeah. Um. Uh, anyways, I think. I mean, you know, religion can be a little scary. Yeah. Yeah. It can. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't. It doesn't save you. Like, you know, um, Jesus was. He would actually. Um, he did not like the most religious people of the time. Like, the people who would, you know, the people who walk around in the suit and the tie and they're like, got a Bible all the time and, right. you know, but they, they don't really love you and they look down on you if you're not perfect and you're not dressed right or something. Those people, they're not going to get to heaven by that, you know. Well, a person shouldn't be judged on what they look like, how they dress, uh, you know, because not everybody's fortunate enough to have something like somebody else might have yeah yeah I would yeah that is that, that is, shouldn't matter <laughs> yeah it shouldn't it shouldn't but people do think that like they and 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 that's what Jesus would got so mad about sometimes they you know have you heard of the Pharisees yeah, yeah that is basically what the Pharisees are they like the people who are uh, holy rulers you know or whatever you know Th those people that that look down on you you're supposed to love yeah everybody you know you are you know and and you can't love people if you're constantly saying, you know, they they don't deserve nothing, you know. Um, no, but you you're not supposed to judge a person. I mean, you don't no. know a person. You don't judge them just because you don't like the way they look or the yeah. way they talk or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody, everybody's deserves respect. You know? Right, and they love. do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I talked to you with a lot of actually good good points. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for sharing. I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh no, you you know trust me a lot more than most people. So But I do. I I, I do have faith. I keep hoping that good things are gonna happen soon in my life. I don't know. Yeah. I've had back surgery, I'm in vain a lot. My husband's uh, got a lot of health issues. He's a diabetic, lost his sight, had to quit working, uh, it's a lot going on. And I'm always asking God, please help us, Lord, <laughs> get us through this. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can pray for you too. You know, I'll pray for you when well, I get home. Well, thank you. I appreciate sure you, it. All the prayers help.